everybody. Today, I'm gonna show you how to simulate a nuclear reaction at home. But don't worry, we're not gonna use uranium, but instead, ping pong balls and mouse traps. Now, in a nuclear reaction, you have atoms, uranium atoms, like this mouse trap that you hit with neutrons, like this ping pong ball. Now, when a neutron flies in and hits an atom, it can cause the atom to split apart, releasing two more neutrons at high speed. I've got one set up here, two neutrons on my uranium atom. I'm gonna fire a neutron in and... <laughs> the neutrons go flying out at high speed, just like I said. Now, in this case, the reaction ends. We're subcritical. There's not enough uranium or enough neutrons or enough containment to keep the reaction going. But here, I have a larger piece of simulated uranium. It's got about 80 mouse traps, um, sorry, atoms in it, each with their own pair of neutrons ready to fire. Now, a little bit of safety. These are small mouse traps, but they will give you a nasty bruise if you get your fingers caught. So you definitely need an adult to help you if you want to try this experiment. I've also built this containment box here, and hopefully that will keep the neutrons trapped, letting the reaction keep going will stay super critical. What I mean by that is we will trigger one mouse trap, releasing two neutrons, which will trigger another mouse trap, another two mouse traps, releasing four neutrons, which will trigger another four mouse traps, triggering eight neutrons, then 16, 32, 64, 128. The sky's the limit. This is exponential growth. And pretty soon, hopefully, all of these traps will be triggered. We'll see it go from one to all in a matter of seconds. Now I'm gonna climb up my ladder here and give this a go. Now, this doesn't work every time. Sometimes the neutrons miss and the reaction just dies out. But I'm gonna give it a go. You ready? Okay, you're gonna reach in. This must be how nuclear researchers feel. It's very stressful. You're gonna try and trigger this off. Here we go. That one didn't hit an atom. Fortunately, I've got a few more. We're gonna try it again. Here we go. <laughs> Did you see that? In a matter of less than a second, that one neutron triggered another, 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 all the way through. This is what makes nuclear reactions so powerful, but also so dangerous. A tiny trigger can lead to a huge outcome. And a lot of energy released, or ping pong balls in my case. Now, this would make an awesome science project with an adult to help you. You could try different densities of mouse traps. You could see what difference an open top box makes. It'll make a lot of mess, uh, but also good science. And you can research how all of this relates to real nuclear reactors. Also, I built this box out of pine and an old shower curtain, but you could use an aquarium or even a cardboard box with some plastic over the top. And don't forget, you can see this hands-on again on our website, as well as lots more great experiments. And don't forget to hit us up on our socials. Until next time, I'm gonna clean up my mess now.